When I shared the news with my wife, I was stunned by her immediate concern about a trip that she had planned to visit friends who lives three hours away, scheduled for the day after my surgery. Welcome to the Hallett Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for being angry at my wife's reaction to my tumor surgery news? But before embarking on the expedition to knowledge and many people's very poor life choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. This man's situation is a good example of being married to a partner with an empathy deficit and self-interest bias. If you can relate to this brother's story, time for you to reevaluate your relationship. As you listen, ask yourself one question. Is this the kind of woman you would want raising your children? I've been married to my wife for over a decade, and we have a child together. For the past few weeks, I've been experiencing headaches, and I noticed that my wife seems rather indifferent whenever I mention them. Recently, I underwent an MRI scan. While we both suspected something was wrong, we weren't sure of the severity. Today, my doctor informed me that there's a fairly large cyst or tumor, two and a half centimeters approximately, half the size of a golf ball behind my cheek that requires surgical removal. When I shared this news with my wife, I was stunned by her immediate concern about a trip that she had planned to visit friends who live three hours away, scheduled for the day after my surgery. This trip had been in the works for some time, but I was hurt by her prioritizing it at that moment. Really? This is how she responds? I get it, guys. She might have an avoidant or dismissive attachment style, where closeness and dependency needs are uncomfortable for her to manage, leading her to pull away when her husband requires emotional support. However, screw that. That is no freaking excuse. When I express my preference to skip the trip to focus on recovery, she suggested taking our son with her while leaving me at home. Hmm, makes you kind of wonder. This suggestion caused me to lose my temper. Yeah, rightfully so and I responded by yelling and cursing her via text. Okay. She defended herself, claiming that I was being unreasonable and that she was merely asking practical questions for planning purposes. In other words, she was gaslighting you, and she was not kidding. You caught her being who she is. My brother, this tells you all you need to know. Chances are, you're the guy she settled for, and all you're good for is the resources that you can provide. I also have to wonder if there's something else going on, and why is she so keen on this trip, even in the face of your facial surgery? Yeah, that pun was unintended. This is a massive act of disrespect, and frankly, when you get better, time to see a lawyer about your options. In my view, this woman doesn't love you to the level she should. If she did, you would be more important than a damn trip. While I'm preoccupied with the thoughts about the surgery, its potential complications and risk, it seems her primary concern was whether her social plans could proceed. I found it inappropriate and inconsiderate that she would even consider leaving me alone during my recovery instead of focusing on how she could help me through this. 
take note of this, guys. Women are supposed to be the natural nurturers. Do you see any nurturing here? To be fair, I know she would stay if I explicitly asked. Uh-huh. And she has offered to drive me to the surgery. The doctor also believes the cyst or tumor is non-cancerous. So I'm not facing a life-threatening situation. However, it's the fact that she even com contemplated leaving me alone during this time that deeply upset me. Am I the a-hole in this situation? All right. Well, let me be succinct. No, you're not. I'm a big fan of overt communication. There is no such thing as mind reading. However, basic human decency would tell a woman to take care of her man. It reasonably should be an immediate and innate response, and it is missing in her. In the comments below, give your thoughts, guys, if you think she was planning on meeting someone on the down low. As for you, my brother, play chess, not checkers. Find out your options, what moves you need to do to protect your assets, and how long after those moves must you wait before you file for divorce. I don't see your situation getting better. As time goes on, I see it getting far worse. However, regardless of what you do, you should at least find out what your options are, protects your assets, just in case you wake up one morning and discover she doesn't want to be with you anymore. If you are one of those unsubscribed viewers who likes my channel and finds value in my videos, it's time to show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. Confession is good for the soul. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these if you're on YouTube and enjoy another one right now. Until next time.